gamer dude here so we had our first true spoilers for the Valhalla cluster starting with a new ruler and all that jazz we can start to see how things are going to pan out so let's get into it I'm not expecting these cards to be groundbreaking or anything but I, I just hope that uh, the set starts pushing forcible in a more balanced direction and we're going to get a good uh, sorry a better look at how the new divinity mechanic and the rulers are going to start looking so we start with our ruler at some c cards who literally doesn't do anything uh apparently it's something to do with kaguya and the were rabbits uh he's the last remaining actual rabbit divinity 10 which we already knew judgment three energized one he literally doesn't do anything all the uh divinity cards will be what gives him abilities in this form and here's his flip side 810 sorry item c card the shimmering rabbit still divinity 10 runes in your rune area gain quick cast that that's interesting it implies none of them have quick cast or very few whenever you play a rune choose one you gain 500 life or your rest target resonator or target j resonator gains plus 5000 defense until end, sorry plus 500 defense until end of turn that's actually not that bad uh, it make, means the runes are very very defensive choices now and you can chain things together like if you already have a let's say something that taps two you can make it tap three if you have something that gives defense you can power it up or alternatively if you have something that kills something you can tap something else for your troubles if you need just that little bit of life to hang on oh hey here you go the divinity 10 will balance this out so you can't just do it whenever you like but this is actually pretty interesting it's not as blank as i expected but it's not super amazing it's it's the right place i think and considering we're only going to get 10 rules in this cluster if they're all about this level and none of the uh runes are uh, out of whack or too powerful th this would be a really good place for force of will to be my friend is quitting this cluster uh this is actually making me kind of interested again provided the first set doesn't balls everything up time will tell anyway let's go on bethor the angel of treasure two drop five five i like those stats and she's a pretty girl an angel flying when it's put into the graveyard from the field so you can't pitch it draw a card uh that's actually not that bad it's pretty decent stats i'm glad to see them starting to depower the two drops a bit they desperately needed that and just a straight up flyer drop uh, when she dies draw a card that's not bad it's not bad at all the all the uh when this unit dies draw a card type deals are not bad it's replacement it's good probably not amazing you might want to replace it with something else with a more impactful effect but i like it ah uh, phalag the angel of war it's nice art i like this type of art it's less anime more realistic it does it for me but not ugly it's actually quite beautiful in its own way three drop there uh, we can see the as electricity that has quick cast eight eight yeah we can go with that quick cast flying first strike that's that's it and oh these cards are full art um really nice i if they just made everything full art now anyway oh that's actually pretty cool you can they don't know you have it you just pop her in and she's flying so she can block a lot of stuff and she goes first that's i like it nothing much not to like and it's a well done card Another pretty girl, that's just the theme apparently. You expect more wear rabbits, but mm. 10 10 for two. Uh, sorry, four. Full the administrator of the moon. Flying, so it's an angel theme. I like it. When this card, sorry, flying, this card gains plus 200, plus 200, a barrier during your opponent's turn. That's actually really interesting. It becomes a 12, 12 with barrier. That's actually really cool. It's not impressive again 
Not only for these cards so far have been, oh my god, this is the best thing ever, but they're nice, simple, balanced cards. Nothing overtly oppressive, nothing with oodles of text, nothing that's uh, seemingly abusable so far. I like what I'm seeing. I think this is... It, it might hurt a few people saying such bland cards, but I think Force of All kind of needs to dial it back. So this is good. This is good. Um, that's okay, Art, I guess. One drop for four Sorceress of the Moon. All the rabbits. Uh, where rabbit? Our first one. Rune two. So this card gains the following text as long as there are two or more runes revealed in your rune area. It becomes a 6-6 six, six and has flying. That's actually pretty neat. And you're going to... It's going to get powerful as the game goes on. And a 6-6 six, six for one. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a nice card. Really like that. Sorry, just going to move some stuff. Uh, Where Rabbit Warrior. Just uh, looks like a flash 144. Yep. Flash 144. Very nice. One, and that's it. I wonder if any of those uh, Where Rabbits will fit into the blue Where Rabbit deck from Grimm. But uh, I'm really liking this. How much of the deck do we have? 21, 17, 14. Don't know why they're giving the starter deck stuff rarity. That's dumb. 13, 3. So we don't have much of the deck. And this is the second rule. So the other half is probably for the other ruler. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think these are very basic cards. But they're solid. And this is what I wanted to see more of. Just scale things back. Solidify what you have. And stop going 5 million different directions. Again, uh, I have to make an addendum for my last video on Force of Will. The It looks like... Uh, Ramp is not going to white. They're just spreading it out. They've put uh, tokens into black. Considering in Magic the Gathering, bam uh, sorry, zombie tokens are a thing. And these skeleton tokens are basically the exact same thing. I can't say they're really shifting anything. But let's, let's just see if there's anything behind it first. Let's see if there's anything more. But I don't know how frequently we're getting the... Uh, spoilers, but this has been a good spoiler. I like it. It's just very basic to the point and does well. Anyway, this has been some gamer dude. I, I'm pretty much on board with what I see so far. It's just a shame my friend doesn't want to play now. Anyway, I'll see you guys next video.